So I was actually thinking that I should be singing Happy Days Are Here Again. But not quite, um, because my test results for Monday just came back and they are still positive. So which means that I still have the coronavirus and I need to stay a further seven days here at home. So I basically spent like the entire day apologizing to this beauty right here and that handsome buddy over there because they can't go out and I will not be able to kiss them um, or I guess like cuddle with them for the next few days um, because I'm still positive. And I was reading about articles about cats testing positive and having some mild respiratory symptoms and I, I, I just don't want them to be sick um, pretty much. So it's actually kind of weird because I don't have symptoms right now. Um, there's still some malaise every now and then. I um, find myself like sleeping a lot, pretty much. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, I've been getting a headache actually from sleeping a lot. Um, but I've, I've just been reading up on, you know, other, you know, other like symptoms for the coronavirus because it seems like I don't have it right now, but like, I guess I still have it. So I still need to um, kind of like self-isolate. Um, so good thing is a lot of people have given me a lot of food, um, even though I told them not to, um, but they were pretty much concerned. So that's a good thing. Thank you very much, because at least I would have some food over here. And uh, as you can see, um, still recording, still going on. I was at the table read yesterday um, and yeah, I'm still recording auditions. Um, I'm still doing self tapes. Um, you know, I'm kind of like taking advantage of the days when I could do self tapes um, because sometimes like, you know, I'm just like really tired and really, you know, beat up. Um, so I just like sleep for the day, um, you know, so right now I'm kind of like feeling okay. Um, so I'm doing that. Um, but I think like one of the, uh, the most disturbing news that I've read today, well, apart from the fact that you can get, uh, you know, blood clots from like COVID-19 and you can get your feet like, you know, amputated and everything is, um, there's been a series of articles that's been floating around about um, actors um, basically not working. Um, so more likely than not, like when uh, when productions are going to start coming back, um, union actors are the only ones that's, that's going to be working because they're going to cut down on like, you know, non-union or like background actors. Um, and a lot of uh, productions are going to cut down on staff and on crew as well, uh, you know, just to keep it like, you know, uh, into st skeleton crew, uh, just to make sure that people are observing um, social distancing rules. So I've just kind of like got into to thinking, you know, <laughs> at a time when I'm actually feeling a lot better. Um, where do we go from here? Acting wise, you know, um, I mean, theaters are going to be closed up until June. Um, and, you know, I, I've been submitting to a lot of uh, general auditions for the upcoming season. And, you know, hopefully some of them are going to work out. But, um, of course, that means that there's going to be like less work for actors. So I was thinking this is probably like a really great time to create more content. I'm not giving up because I know a lot of people, probably up to like one fifth of the people in my industry are going to just <clears throat> chuck it all and leave um, because it's it's kind of like unsure right now. And... For me, I think that's a really great opportunity to put myself out there and create content um, because it's not only a way for me to keep my acting career going, but it's also a way for me to be able to express everything that's been kind of like happening. Um, it's also a way for me to be able to connect to people to a different level. So I don't know. I'm still thinking what additional content I could make as an actor.